All right, so I followed the instructions related to the possibility that the hard drive uh, ribbon had come loose or been bumped loose, possibly uh, because of a drop. And just completed the re-imaging of the same computer. It seems to be fine now. The, the hard drive is actually showing up in the BIOS. So when it's done and it starts to reboot, that's when we pop out the Ethernet cable and we just wait and see. As it continues to finish the boot process, it's going to cycle into the student sign-in page, which looks like this. So student sign-in page. Looks like this. And just push enter. And when you push enter, it'll take you to the splash screen. And it should indicate that Wi-Fi, we're looking for a Wi-Fi network. So that's it. And this computer's almost finished. Now we've only got a couple more to go. But the process is straightforward. Once you hook up the server and the server is active, sometimes you have to do a little bit of hardware troubleshooting, but for the most part, it's just a small bias modification to make sure it's booting to the network first and you're good.